What's good? What's good? So there are many mistakes that we made with credit, and I got my boy Mike with me, my partner, Mr. Drake Visions, and we're going to talk about all the mistakes that we made with credit, and we're going to give you the game so you don't have to make the same mistake. So you already know what time it is. Let's get right in. With today's video, we're going to break down the top three mistakes so you don't have to make the same mistakes that we made when it comes to credit. My boy Mike about to go first and give you the first mistake to avoid. All right, so the first step to avoid is, number one, do not go to a car line wow. to get a car. Because if your credit ain't up the bar, mm -hmm. what they do is they'll run your credit rampant, right? They don't care if you get 20 hard inquiries on your credit report. Um, and the reason why this thing is number one on my list is because if you got too many hard inquiries, it makes you look thirsty for credit when going to other places. So, so what, what, what credit score do you think they should have? What, what, they, what do they need to do first uh, to go? If they want to get a car, right? They want to get a car, what should they do first? If they want to get a car, first thing is if you got a bank, just check with your bank first. Your bank is going to pull one hard inquiry from probably one credit bureau. That, so that's one hard inquiry to see if you can get approved. Now, and, and the best bank you should go to is a local credit union. Local credit unions all day. So, so uh, for example, if you go to your bank and they say no, all you got is one hard inquiry. One hard inquiry, right? So if you go to the car lot, they don't care if you got 30 hard inquiries, they don't care if you got 100 hard inquiries. As long as your credit score is good enough, they'll still try to find a way to get you into a car. But if you do it the opposite way, which is go to the uh, car lot first, they're still gonna run your credit. Now, why this is important is because once you start looking thirsty for credit, now you can't get anything else. So as far as like a credit card, um, my credit score was well, like a 760, and I got denied for a credit card. Um, and what, what happened was when they denied me, and this is happening for everybody, once they deny you for credit, they'll send you a letter in the mail that'll tell you why you got denied. So when they send the letter in the mail, it says, um, uh, searching for credit or something like that. So what happened was I was like, okay, well, let me wait uh, 12 months. So my credit score was still the same, like 760. So after that, I applied for the credit card and I got approved for the credit card. So when they pulled my TransUnion credit report at Navy Federal, and that's the gem for y'all. So when you go to Navy Federal, they'll pull your TransUnion and give you a credit card. They pulled my TransUnion, one hard inquiry got me the credit card, and what I did next was use that same hard inquiry to get my wife a card. So that's the number one thing. That's, that was good for me. Yeah, so don't go to the car lot first. Make sure you look at your credit report. Then go to the car lot. And actually look what kind of car you want. Then go to the car lot. Then go first get a pre-approval. Then go to the car lot. Because now you got leverage. Now you can say, yo, I got $50,000 cash, and if the car is worth 55, you can make up. The second biggest mistake is not leveraging your credit to get business credit cards. That was one of the worst mistakes I did because I thought all oh, personal credit, personal credit, I didn't really care about business credit. Nobody really taught it to me. So the number one, the uh, second mistake I made is you have to not actually get a business credit card because with those business credit cards, they go for the personal credit. So if I wanted to do dumb stuff, I mean not dumb stuff, if I wanted to, it wouldn't report. But leveraging your personal credit to get business credit is much better because you can use those business credit cards to actually generate you money. And how you generate you money is basically um, liquidating the credit card to either start in real estate, start in um, your Airbnb, do car rental, use it to actually start an e-commerce store, Amazon store, Walmart store. There's multiple ways you can actually leverage business credit cards and they're at zero percent interest. And the number one mistake is since I didn't get business credit cards, I'm losing out on reward points. Reward points are good on the personal side, but sometimes if anything ever happened, I actually use a credit card. What I usually do for my business, I'm basically hurting my debt to income ratio, right? Basically, since I'm using my credit to actually build my business, it's hurting me personally because if I want to go, if I don't pay down this credit card in time, I get denied because I have too much utilization. So make sure once you fix your personal credit, make sure you actually get business credit cards. Before 
before we give y'all number three, make sure y'all hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, smash that like button for me one more time. Just smash it one time for me. And hit the subscribe button. All right, so number three. Number three, and this is important for me. Um, it might not be important for y'all because I mean, everybody gonna have bad credit. But if you do have bad credit, number three is not getting the education after repairing your credit or waiting you know, seven years for something to fall off. So once you fix your credit, um, it, it's, it's a really important for you to educate yourself because um, we have repeat customers, man. We, we really don't like to have repeat customers. So when fixing your credit, you gotta you know learn about utilization because like Dave said, well, number, number two was utilization. So a lot of people, when the utilization is high, um, a lot of people don't understand that when you have good credit, you can get better interest rates. better insurance rates as well so what that'll do is that'll save you money in the long run a lot of people think it's expensive to fix your credit but it's really not um if you pay whatever to fix your credit you can save you know hundreds of dollars a month and, and over, over a course of a year or two or three years it end up being thousands um we tend to find ourselves in a situation where we can't even invest our money into the stock market and some p500 um for example we can save that money over a certain amount of years just by having over a 720 credit score. So, so one of the things we also notice is when, when they got their credit repair fixed, when people do get credit repair, they usually get a house. And what they do is when they get the house, they got good credit, they can get a credit card. But what they do with that credit card is actually purchase the house. Now their credit score is going down. So what you should do is, like I said, number two is leverage your credit and get that before you get a house, I know it's everybody's dream, you should actually use your credit to actually create your money first. So now you have money coming in constantly, multiple streams of income. You don't gotta quit your job, you still create multiple streams of income. But if you leverage your credit to actually get business credit cards to make you money, then go actually buy a house. Now you can actually pay for your furniture without getting in debt. Because we all know personal credit really runs America because you need a car. For, I mean, you need credit for a house, you need credit for an apartment, you need credit for a job, you need credit for insurance, you need credit for T1 for a cell phone, utilities, you need credit for everything. So, the number one thing is get your personal credit right so you can get business credit so you can go make money and stop using it in the wrong way. So, those are my three takeaways, my partner's three takeaways when it comes to credit. So, make sure. Fix your credit. If your credit is bad, then go get it fixed. If your credit is good, go get some business credit cards so you can go ahead and make some more money. So, if you have bad credit, you can watch this video right here. And I'll show you step by step by step on how to remove anything off your credit report. I give you all the game for free. Just make sure you show your boy some love. If you need help, just put something in the comments and I'll reply to anybody that have any questions when it comes to credit, business credit, or anything thing that you help with so just make sure you drop them in the comments when you actually watch the video if you have any questions about anything 